find out what the heck this draft is looking at next on Safari Tanzania. <laughs> On our first safari drive of the trip, we encountered this warthog, or the pig of the plains. This one was a male, as you can tell by the two large sets of warts on his face. He was hanging out near the mud, and up ahead, some much larger animals were also coming in for a mud bath. Watching an elephant herd is one of my favorite things to do on safari. The largest land animal left on earth. They can move so quietly for an animal that can weigh over 7,000 pounds. Mud not only acts as a sunscreen for these elephants, but it also helps wash away insects. People pay a lot of money to go to a spa, but these alleys can enjoy all this for free. This little one really seems to get into its mud bath. Elephants form strong social bonds, and this little one will be protected by the entire herd. But like me, they didn't want to spend any more time taking a bath than they need to. Soon, these elephants were on the move, probably to look for some shade. We drove up just a few minutes and came across yet another elephant herd. Rama, our guide, put us in a safe location to watch the herd cross the road. You have to be careful around elephants, especially male elephants and must, when their testosterone level are off the charts. YouTube is filled with videos of jeeps and cars getting way too close to elephants, a mistake that can cost you your life. Upon closer inspection, it looked like this herd also came from a mud bath. And they also had a baby elephant even smaller than the last one. Very cute indeed. Seeing these herds so soon into my trip was great. We then drove up to a nice high lookout point to scan the area. I was looking for anything that could be a cat. From this far away, you'd have to look very close for a small orange speck. And there it was, the first cat of the trip, a lioness. And she was walking close to the road. Walking is something she will do a lot of, as lions in this area of Africa can have a home range of 25 to over 100 square miles. That, my friends, or Rafikis, is a lot of walking. Our jeep drove on, and we pulled over ahead of this lioness. We waited to see if she would come over this small hill. I thought she would, as there was a beautiful large tree just across the way, and like the elephants, she was probably looking to avoid the sun and this heat. I looked around and noticed we weren't the only ones keeping a close eye on this lion. And there she was. I snapped a few pictures. This photo I like so much, I had printed on canvas, and it's now hanging at a local wine bar in my hometown. And we then watched as she walked over to that large tree to sleep the afternoon away. Around the next turn, we noticed the largest flightless bird in the world, the ostrich, or as we say here in Chicago, the ostrich. This group was either trying to cool off or possibly showing off to the females. Also nearby were some Egyptian geese. These animals were considered sacred by the Egyptians. It's interesting, as introduced populations in the UK have bred so well that there, they're considered a pest. Tanzania has well over a thousand species of birds, and I felt like almost all of them are coming out on our way out of the park. I believe this one hanging out roadside is a kind of a shrike. I'm no bird nerd, but I try my best. This is a very common bird you will see on safari, but still one of my favorites, the superb starling. Just look at that blue. We drove along as these female water buck watched us. And then, something appeared in the road. Another bird. A red-billed hornbill. Just as we thought this drive had gone to the birds, we spotted another cat-like figure from the distance. Could it be Chewy? Ah, it looks too skinny. These were a pair of cheetahs. Cheetahs that were too far away for my camera to handle. So we have already seen two out of the three big cat species of Africa. We exited the park and drove on to Asapoka Lodge, which would serve as our home for the next two nights. It sits on the edge of the Tarangiri Park. So after I did my very important quick snake check in our room, 
I went out to the porch to see what was around. And of course, some more birds, like this white-headed buffalo weaver. It was time to call it a night and start dreaming of seeing a chewy. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Safari Tanzania. For more information on the items featured in this video, please read this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching.